Hi guys, welcome back to our global interviews. I am a host Starlight. We are at the Paris Blockchain Week Summit. And today we have a very special guest with me from Ukraine. Um, the co-founder and the CEO of Hacken Foundation. Please welcome Dima. Hello guys. <laughs> nice to be here. So how are you today? I'm good. I'm good. Interesting day. Uh, uh, conferences and summits are always about networking, connection, new connections, new business opportunities. So it's pretty good audience uh, today in Paris. Yeah. Um, can you share a little bit about your background and how you get into the blockchain and the sure, crypto? Sure, sure. Um, yeah, I'm Ukrainian. Um, I started my career at Deloitte. It's a, a big forwarding company. I worked there for eight years. And then uh, I went to work for government. And we were building on the Defense Military Consortium Cybersecurity Center. And at some point of time, we decided with the team that um, Web3 and blockchain industry is uh, fascinating, fast growing, and we cannot miss this chance. And we switched to uh, crypto. And mm -hmm. in 2017, we founded Hacking. Hacking. Um, what services or the products that your company can offer? Um, so we are all about cybersecurity. Um, if we talk about main source of revenue is smart contract audits and blockchain protocol audits. Mm -hmm. uh, we are also biggest by market share cryptocurrency exchange auditor. Um, so we do a lot of other side products to develop the um, general cybersecurity um, industry uh, development. So it's we have a bug bounty platform hacking proof. We have cybersecurity ranking um uh, platform cer.life uh, we have uh, the dos resistance um, uh, uh, tool this balancer um, some small things like a vpn password manager stuff like that any milestone that your company have achieved so far so um it is uh, still for very early stage for the um cyber security in crypto we still see a lot of hacks. If there are hacks for 600 million, like a recent Ronin hack, then we are obviously not doing enough. Um, so we see that uh, there is a very big niche of new products that will give more um, protection to users and companies from the hackers. Mm -hmm. But if we talk about milestones, so hacking is um, successful, profitable company with good community, with a lot of clients, mm -hmm. and um, we are here for long. What is your target market? Um, we, our clients are global. Uh, we we are doing audits for around 40-50 clients per month. We are 80 people. Um, we recently moved our headquarters from Ukraine to Lisbon, Portugal. Mm -hmm. um, we uh, we are looking into B2B SaaS products and right now we are developing such. Last month you attended to one of the biggest uh, blockchain events and you talked about Web3 cybersecurity at that time. So can you share practical recommendations on how to stay safe in Web3 reality to our audience as well? Sure. Um, I, I will not... Um, um, give some like basic advice like two-factor authentication <laughs> and don't use ever the same passwords in any case nobody is doing it mm -hmm. um, my, my practical recommendation uh, is um, uh, to buy a um, new phone it can be Huawei iPhone I don't know whatever mm -hmm. uh, Mm, you mentioned can, Huawei. Huawei. Um, the, the other one I like, uh, uh, I know that uh, Europeans don't pronounce it correctly, Xiaomi. Yeah, Xiaomi. Because everybody is saying here Xiaomi, which is Xiaomi. <laughs> uh, so my practical recommendation is to buy an iPhone or whatever phone. Mm -hmm. uh, download only one app, your crypto wallet. For example, it can be a trust wallet or I know in... Um, in Asia, uh, BTC, uh, BTC Universe is popular. Uh, and to um, um, create the wallet, mm -hmm. take the seed phrase, remember it, 
and put it somewhere in the mm -hmm. safe. So to remember seed phrase, it really takes maybe two hours and maybe uh, one more hour to train memory during the next five days. And um, then use this uh, phone only when you need to do crypto operations. And the same to do with the, um, with the uh, laptop when you are uh, using the Web3 applications to install only one app with the browser. Don't ever install nothing there. No emails, no messengers, nothing. Mm -hmm. Just one app, MetaMask, for example. And uh, to use it only when you are uh, you need to do the transfer or to make the swap trade on decentralized exchange. Uh, so by doing that, uh, you will be protected from a lot of a lot of different uh, type of attacks. Mm -hmm. And uh, believe me, it's uh, even better rather than to use Ledger, Trezor, these hardware wallets, and to connect it to your day-to-day -day, uh, laptops and uh, devices um, and of course uh, always be very critical uh, there is uh, no free uh, the, the free cheese is only uh, the thing that uh, shut the mouse <laughs> so um, yeah there is no f uh, free money in the crypto if you see some uh, uh, advertisement that promise you some uh, probably a scandal yeah, it's like 99.9% .9 is a scammer. So, yeah, be critical, be skeptical, and uh, use standalone devices for your crypto transactions. And uh, another one, don't ever like uh, blindly approve something on MetaMask. Like, mm -hmm. if do you see that MetaMask is asking you, okay or not okay, just like be very critical. Uh -huh. Read what MetaMask is saying to you, and um, like sometimes just approving, uh, mm -hmm. clicking like blindly, you can lose all your money. What are your competitive advantages and what uh, make you stand out among from your other competitors? I think our main uh, competitive advantage is that we are not only working to develop um, our business, but also we're working on the industry development. Um, such products like CER.life, mm -hmm. uh, which is um, um, rep which represents the rankings of um, based on cybersecurity of all the crypto exchanges and all the tokens. Uh, we believe this is very important for the ra to raise awareness among all the um, crypto users about which project is secure and which is not. So uh, we Firstly, introduce this ranking for cryptocurrency exchanges and CoinGecko uh, has taken our ranks in, and implemented it in their trust score. And after implementation of these rankings, the, um, so many exchanges started to do penetration tests and bug bounties. And we still see some hacks of crypto exchanges, but the number of it is significantly lower than it was in Sun 18 or 19. And right now we have introduced the uh, ranking for all the token and crypto projects. Uh, and so we believe that uh, this will give another boost and cybersecurity will become a big trend next three, five years. Mm -hmm. Some said uh, cybersecurity is important consideration for crypto hedge fund launches. What do you think about this point? Um, every investor wants to know if um, his um, investment is secure or not. So, of course, uh, uh, crypto hedge funds also come to us and ask to assess the security of this or that project. Um, while uh, I still think that um, the current industry domain that the project need to have a smart contract uh, audit is still not enough to be 100% that nothing will happen. And there are some other areas of crypto project that need to be assessed. For example, uh, token supply uh, audit. Mm -hmm. um, this is a new topic and um, with the race of, cross, uh, of bridges and cross blockchain uh, projects, uh, we cannot be 100% sure 
that this or that project is not uh, minting uh, tokens on un uncontrollably and uh, we see that this area is a new chapter of uh, uh, security assessment of crypto projects some people believe that a decentralized identity is the one of the significant technology as well as the forefront of building the identity foundation of web3 what do you think about this view and what is what is your perspective I don't think that we are going to have like one unanimous uh, market leader who is like uh, the king of decentralized identity. With the race of so many blockchains, um, I believe it's almost impossible. And if to uh, have a look at um, uh, most popular and actively developing blockchains like Nier or Solana, mm -hmm. um, they already have uh, by default uh, your account is your like identity and um, so I don't believe that uh, uh, we're gonna uh, have this unanimous tool and at unless um, some giants like Google or Facebook will not uh, go into the space uh, at the same time uh, I want to say that um, um, uh, decentralized identity is uh, contradicts with the privacy and um, we uh, there will always be uh, ways to bypass uh, decentralized identity and to do um, some of your operations that you don't want to be tracked so what cyber security or the data privacy um, regulation that we can expect for this year I believe that uh, regulation, the global regulation is, um, they completely don't understand crypto, like <laughs> zero, nothing. So all that they um, are doing right now is they are trying to implement KYC on uh, um, DeFi protocols, which is basically nonsense. Mm -hmm. And, um, but at the same time, uh, I see that uh, private companies and us as well, they are doing a lot of efforts to um, to label um, blockchain wallets and to publicly show uh, who is um, holding this or that assets. And I think uh, in this, in our Web3 industry, mm -hmm. uh, the regulation will come not from the government authorities, but it will come from the trusted industry leaders, again, such as CoinGecko, CoinMarketCap, and they will set uh, new rules on uh, information that has to be publicly uh, verified and provided to uh, global crypto investors. Mm -hmm. Do you think this is a good sign, like the regulations getting more and more? No, uh, first of all, no, I, I say, I'm, I'm saying that uh, we are still a uh, very long time uh, from some strict uh, regulation. Mm -hmm. And if we see right now at uh, the global um, uh, trading, uh, we see that right now crypto is already a big offshore. And there are a lot of companies who uh, operate only in crypto domain and none of the countries can uh, do something with that. Yeah. Um, so um, I think we are, we, we are still not there. But at the same time, I agree that um, um, crypto uh, has to um, bring benefits to governments and people. And I see that uh, the race of uh, um, uh, uh, country uh, crypto projects uh, such as CBDC uh, will uh, give a boost to um, new rules and taxation uh, schemes uh, that will help crypto to be mass adopted. So you attended to the um, Paris Blockchain Week Summit. So uh, what kind of project or what the partnerships you are looking for? So we are looking for the clients uh, that require audits, uh, that's obvious. 
uh, we are looking for marketing partners and business developers in um, uh, different regions. Uh, hacking is very well known in Europe, uh, but uh, we are still uh, we still don't have that publicity in Asian uh, region. Um, so yeah, uh, why not to be a partner with uh, your company, with Globe? Um, so we also are looking for individual um, uh, Web3 developers and business developers uh, who wants to um, jump in into cybersecurity industry. So we have quite good uh, uh, partnership program when you can act as our uh, representative in the country where you region. Um, so every single uh, project needs an audit. So if you know some project and you want uh, and it still doesn't have an audit, you can connect us and make some commission, <laughs> make some money. Yeah, sure. sure. <laughs> so the last questions, but not least, what is next for you and Hacken? Uh, so for me, I'm planning to lose uh, 10 kilos <laughs> yeah, and become more handsome. Maybe a little you already change. Are. In, maybe a little change in the hairstyle. We'll see. Um, but if we talk about hacking, which is basically my life, is uh, uh, building a B2B product that uh, will um, be kind of a comparison of Falcon X from CrowdStrike, and it will work with the already uh, deployed smart contracts and will prevent from big type of uh, hacker attacks and not only hacker attacks such as flash loans, drug pools and so on. So there is a lot of work, there is very interesting work and yeah, we are on the way to be a multi-billion company. Thank you guys for watching this episode. If you like the content, please like and leave the comment and subscribe the channel. And thank you for our guest, Dima. And this is my pleasure to speaking with you today. Thank you so and much. Shishi. Shishi. And see you guys next time. See Bye. you. Bye-bye.